Dude, he's like me when I'm like sparring with people. <laughs> I'm like, are you okay, dude? Konnichiwa, my Giga Chads. Watashi wa Umino Kawamura, future husband desu. For those that are new, I'm Giga Chad Taku. I have amateur kickboxing experience with a little bit of jujitsu. Uh, so yeah, we're starting a new series today. We're gonna go through uh, all of the Ip Man movies. For those that are new, I am overly critical with traditional martial arts, but it doesn't mean I hate the movie. Just, I like to kind of shit talk a little bit, just cause it's fun. My base is into like the modern combat sport martial arts, so. Don't be offended if I talk shit. But I actually, I really, really do respect Wing Chun and uh, Jeet Kune Do. One of my uh, students that I would teach for uh, teach Muay Thai for, he taught me some Wing Chun and um, Jeet Kune Do, and I thought like some of the techniques were really good. The what one technique that I fucking love, which is also one of my strongest moves, is the front kick. And in modern in modern combat sports, you don't see the front kick utilized at all. Um, so I do like Wing Chun. Do I think it should be your base for fighting? No. All right, let's begin. Today's meal is brought to you by Somi Somi. We're eating Somi Somi today instead of a parfait. Okay. Okay. He's in Southpaw. Honestly, everything looks legit. He's just kind of doing it. And when modern, comb uh, modern combat sports is just controlling the lead hand. And he's just parrying. Dude, he's like me when I'm like sparring with people. <laughs> I'm like, are you okay, dude? Just because he knows he can trash them. This, he's a good teacher, though. What I really like is the parries. Like, he knows how to stop an attack and then uh, uh, delayed counter. I talk about this a lot on my channel, but... A fighting is essentially broken down to three things. Attacking, delayed counter, simultaneous counter. And all of his traps are just delayed counters. Front kick, front kick. I love front kicks, bro. That's my thing. This was a good fight scene. Really short. All right, Giga Chan, this was a really quick fight scene, um, but it's hard to have a favorite part when this whole clip was like two minutes. But before you leave, uh, make sure to listen to Anya. And let me know in the comments below what was your favorite part of this fight. All right, my Giga Chad, I had to switch to YouTube just because VLC kept bugging. But I think I want to watch the fight in slow motion just so we can appreciate how great this fight was. To so appreciate the minute details. So they're in southpaw versus southpaw. All right, so he's parrying with the, the lead hand. Ideally, in close hands fights, that's when you're fighting someone who has the same uh, stance as you. You want to parry with uh, your rear hand. But you can do that in open stance fights, so southpaw versus ortho. He parries... He's, that one's better. Pairing, pairing his lead with his rear is better. <clears throat> Honestly, I see no problem with Wing Chun here. The, the main thing is I would, I, I think it's better to to parry the the lead with the rear. Because if you get too antsy with um, parrying the lead hand, all they need to do is feint a jab and then they can go over. But it isn't wrong per se, it's just more so dangerous. So he parries the jab. There, that was better. So he's going to throw a jab, so he's using his, his rear hand to parry. That is good. That's actually good fighting. So I guess it's hard to say. He just changed the angle. I'm by no means a Wing Chun expert, but I do know fighting. I definitely want to see people try that now in MMA. Train punches. That I like. I, I definitely fuck with uh, uh, lead front kicks. That's one of my strong moves. 